All right, what is going on guys? Welcome back to another video. Today, I got a great idea to go through some of my favorite uh, all-time Horizon roads in the games. That goes from Horizon 1, 2, and 3. I'm just super excited sitting here thinking about Horizon 4 and figure this is a good way to look back on the games, look back on some of my favorite roads, and uh, just, just enjoy them and uh, look forward to the great roads we're going to have in the new game. But I do want to say that these are all based on my opinion. You may not believe, you, you may not agree with all of the roads I pick in the order I pick them, uh, ones that didn't make the list or whatnot. I do have quite a few honorable mentions that I'm going to go through. Uh, later in the video but without further ado let's go ahead and get on in, uh, into the list so coming in at number five we have the koala road from forza horizon 3 i'm calling it that because there's a speed zone on the on the actual road that says that it's koala road so that's what i'm calling it anyway it starts over by the waterfall goes all the way winds through some of the mountains and hills out on the jungle and ends out by the great ocean road i personally really like this road it's super fun to drive in a supercar uh, there's not too much drifting you can really do on the road or any off-roading or anything like that But it's it's super fun to do for supercars and you have a beautiful view going over right here looking at the mountain and In surfers paradise from super far away I really wish that you could see more of that view on this road because it's truly spectacular Especially uh, when it's not cloudy out like it is in this game and you obviously get the super cool Byron Bay sign that I think a lot of people don't even notice in the game I honestly didn't even know it was there for a while, but it's a super fun road. It's got a, it's got a lot of really high speed sections and high speed corners that are really fun to have, especially in a car like the Ferrari, like the La Ferrari right here. But it just pops out and ends over here. I, I'm putting it at number five because it's a really awesome road, but it doesn't have a lot of other aspects to it. You can't do things like that. So number four is the. Kaiwa Lake. I don't know. I don't really know how to pronounce that, but it's a, a road that goes along the lake and then kind of veers off to the left side of the map. I'm showing you that right now. It's kind of like a. It's the pretty much the closest to like a mountain toge kind of road that we have in Horizon 3, and that's one of the reasons why I like it so much. It's super fun drift on. It's super fun to just take like a a, a little not a, not a super crazy build but just like a moderate build like this sti i don't have max power on it i think it only makes like 500 horsepower uh but it's just got suspension upgrades and stuff like that and it's super fun just to have for handling and just to just to drive like a more realistic build kind of car on this road it's not like super toge -y with like switchbacks and everything like that but it's the closest we have pretty much in the game um but it's super fun. I really like the road. Uh, you can also drift on it. It's definitely a high speed drift though because the corners, like I said, aren't super sharp. But it's still, needless to say, a super awesome, super fun road to drive. Especially this last little section right here with these. You get a couple little switchbacks that are, it's a super fun spot to tandem on. Coming in at number three, in the OG Forza Horizon 1 is the Red Rock Canyon. This road made me fall in love with Horizon games. I can't tell you how many times I drove up and down this road. It is just phenomenal. It The road is so awesome. It's got so many just little switchbacks. It's got a little bit, it's got a little bit of everything. And this really is a road that like jumps out and says that like, I, I think this road really cemented in my mind what Horizon games are and i it's just it's so much fun just driving you could drive anything down this you could drive a, a supercar and go for grip and just try and get down it super fast you could just cruise and enjoy the beautiful view of the canyon that you have you could also take like a supra like this and just go drifting down it and it's just it's so much fun you can do just about anything on it and it's also really long it's not like some other roads that are really fun but super short this thing takes a solid minute or two to get down and it's super fun and every minute of it it every second of it it's just so much fun and so awesome and i'm so glad that they designed something like this and i really hope we get a road like this in forza horizon 4. coming in at our number two spot forza horizon 2 kind of fitting huh number two forza horizon 2 but anyway it's the nif the uh, blah, blah. it's the nice drift circuit so if you are a drifter at all if you play online drifting in horizon 2 you will know what this is. If you don't, 
then it's probably not gonna seem that special to you. But this this little circuit just definitely holds a, a special place in my heart for Horizon games. It's gotta be up here, up there on the list. I'm putting it at number two. It's just I, I've driven this I've driven this circuit so many times with so many different cars, and it's always just as fun. I had so much fun loading the loading the game back up and getting this footage in one of my favorite drift cars, the Lexus RCF. I just love this thing. I don't know why. This build that I have for it is just super awesome. And I love it. But it's just, the road, it just flows so smoothly. You wouldn't think it just looking at the map or anything like that. But it just, how you actually drift it, it just, it just goes so smooth. It's got, a, it's got, per, it's got the perfect amount of everything, really. It's not really, per se, for anything other than drifting, I guess. All you can really do that's fun on it is to drift, but... I think that it's just it's so it's so perfect it's such the perfect little track to do that on just a little section to do it that it definitely goes up there because there are a couple spots in games where yeah like you'll see in a little bit it's like yes this is just for drifting and it's still kind of fun but it I don't know there's just something about it that just doesn't give off the same vibe as this does this just is perfect you only know if you know now we're gonna get into some honorable mentions uh, the first one coming in right here is the uh, Archway Meadows Circuit in Forza Horizon 3. For some reason, I find myself always coming back to this, and uh, t whenever I first get a drift car, I'll go here, and I'll drive it around the around this loop a couple times just to get used to it, and then I'll go to some other places. But I just, I, I don't know, there's a couple corners in this that are just really fun, really, really awesome to drive. They just, I feel like they, they link super well together and it, it does feel kind of smooth, but at the same time, there's a couple little straightaways that I wish were a little bit shorter. And, but the track is pretty fun also just to drive as like a, like in a supercar or anything like that. But another honorable mention, the classic from Forza Horizon 2, uh, the, the classic little toge section. The reason why I'm not putting this on the list, why I didn't make it, is just because it's so, sh it's too short. Really, it, realistically, it's only three, three, three corners, and they're all they're all pretty much the same. They're all just hairpins, and I don't know. You you get down it in 15, 30 seconds. It's it's super short, but it, it is still fun, and I do think it deserves a spot in the video. So I am putting that here as an honorable mention. Another one coming in is the hillside drift zone from Forza Horizon 3. Uh, another thing where it's just it's it's really it's really only three corners and it goes by super fast but it's just so much fun this is easily my favorite drift zone in horizon 3 and it's just so much fun to send a car going 150 160 sometimes even 200 miles per hour and just go completely sideways in it this unicorn it was i feel like was built for this drift zone it's just so perfect and so much fun to drive and I don't know. I, I just really like this. I, I just really like this drift zone. There's just something about it. It's super fun. Another honorable mention in Horizon 3, uh, the the downhill toge section. Um, it, if if you played the game at launch, this was a huge drift spot for everybody. Uh, it's it's a fun little drift zone. I don't. I, I think that just because of how short it is, and I don't know. It's just the same thing. It's like it's only pretty much three corners and. Just a little drift zone going down the, going down a little mountain that's not even a mountain. Um, I think that it had so much potential, but it uh, wasn't quite what everybody wanted it to be. Obviously, I gotta throw in the docks from Forza Horizon 2. Uh, I would definitely put these on the list, but they aren't technically a road. They're technically just like the docks. They do have like roads or whatever going through it on the map, but I don't count them as roads. Uh, it, it still had to go on here to mention though, just because everybody that's played Horizon 2 has spent time at these docks. They're so much fun just to do Jim Connor, or do drifting, or just do do really anything in. There's jumps you can jump cars in, and it's just it's just an overall just the perfect playground for a car to have. And so I definitely think that it had to go somewhere on the list as well. Anyway, though, coming in to our number one spot, finally, after a couple honorable mentions is in Forza Horizon 2 as well. And it is the Nice to Castelletto Beach Road, I guess is the best way to describe it. Um, I, I don't know, there's just, this road is just so perfect in every single way. It's super long, it's super fast at sections, it's super slow at sections for drifting, it's, 
you got high speed drifting, low speed drifting. It's fun to just take anything on. You can take a, a car on just to cruise and look at the beach and just look at the mountains you're driving around and it's super cool. You could take a drift car and drift the entire thing and that's what I always used to do and it's so much fun. It's so long. It loops around and flows perfectly all the way back and it's, I don't know, there's just something about it. I think that if, if there's any one road that I would have somebody drive just to just just if they if they only had five minutes with the horizon game to decide whether or not they wanted to buy it or whatever i would definitely throw them on this road i don't even i don't even think it would matter what car they're in it's just the road is just so fantastic and so awesome it's truly a road you can do anything on you could hop in a lamborghini and be flying through as fast as you can going hitting corners going 180 and it's just it's so much fun and then at the same time you could also hop in a drift car drive around hit throw yourself sideways going 150 into corners but then you could you also have those tight little smaller sections where you're not going as fast but i mean you could really do anything and i really think that this road deserves the number one spot as i put it there uh, but anyway that's it i guess uh, i hope you enjoyed the video if you did please leave a like for comment subscribe do whatever you feel like doing i hope to see you guys in the next video if you did have some roads that i didn't put in or you think should have been in different spots or whatever uh, definitely let me know down in the comments i'm curious and happy to see what other people enjoy and maybe there's some roads that i haven't given as much time as i need to so yeah hit me up down in the comments i hope you enjoyed and as always guys i'm out